forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. So I went outside today getting ready to come in for work and it was nice to know that the winds finally died down. Yeah, compared to yesterday, yeah. today was a lot calmer. And I, don't, I don't know if you noticed this, but between like the wildflowers coming up, the grass is all of a sudden greener. Mm -hmm. It feels like April almost yeah. outside. And so today was pretty spectacular. And in fact, we're looking at the numbers 10 degrees above average. So normally our high is 47. 57 was the official high 30. Take a look at that. So even in the morning hours, just barely below freezing. So again, this automatically feels warmer than where we should be for this time of the year, but it just goes with the trend we've already had over the last two months of warmer than average winter weather and still at this hour 52 degrees at Lancaster 53 in Gettysburg temperatures in the 40s over the mountains. The winds are still out there from time to time gusting as high as 10 12 miles per hour, but on average they have calmed down a lot from yesterday. Now winds will be a mainstay in the forecast heading into this week and I'll explain when coming up, but here's a live view from Duncan and still seeing some of the clear skies in the last little bit of Daylight out there. Good shot there. Warmleysburg again, clear, calm. The river quite still at this hour. Again, a lot to enjoy yet this evening with temperatures hovering in the low 50s. We will ultimately drop into the 30s later tonight. Clear and calm conditions lead to a seasonal night. Again, temperatures near freezing heading into tomorrow morning. But we start our Monday with some sunshine. Then clouds start to roll back in for the second half of the day. But let's show you how that plays out. Again, clear and calm tonight, so you can see those temperatures dipping down to near freezing. Tomorrow morning, just a few passing clouds, but those clouds thicken as we go deeper into the day. We're totally dry during the daylight hours tomorrow, and depending on how much sunshine we get, low to mid 50s, certainly likely, and that's good because heading into the evening hours, that's when this area of precipitation along a front does drop into the mid state from northwest to southeast. And notice the colder areas here are mostly north of Harrisburg, so colder areas in the atmosphere up above us lead to that chance of maybe some sleet and wet snowflakes north and northeast of Harrisburg, whereas areas farther to the south, it's plain rain. But the good news is no matter what ends up falling in terms of precipitation type, we are above freezing. In fact, some areas still near 40 degrees. That clears and moves out of here heading into Tuesday morning. The winds start to pick up. It will start to feel cooler, but it's not a dramatic drop off just yet. And really, we're not seeing a big drop off at all this week. But let's show you the winds. So during the day, Monday, not too bad. So tomorrow, relatively calm. It's more Tuesday into Wednesday. Tuesday, I would call windy. Average winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. They calm down a little heading into Wednesday and Thursday, but certainly still in the forecast, something to pay attention to. So over the next few days, especially leading into tomorrow, I'll be here during the day. If you could follow me, Twitter and Facebook, at meteorologist Dan Tomaso, at Doppler Dan, for your daily updates about this forecast. And of course, too, you can turn it into our shows and the ABC 27 weather app at the same time. Temperatures through the middle part of this week, we stay in the middle to upper 40s, despite a front moving through this entire week of seasonal, including next weekend, I know there's some internet rumors out there about snow for Saturday. We are on the outside looking at that storm, mainly light rain showers here locally. Nick, over to you.